Your Colorado Buffaloes started off the 2008 season by again facing their in-state rivals, the CSU Rams. The 119th season of CU football began at Invesco Field at Mile High, the ninth time this rivalry has been played in Denver. The defense was stout for the Buffaloes early in the game, keeping quarterback Billy Ferris and the Rams in check on their first drive. Gartrell Johnson and the running game were equally ineffective against Brad Jones and a solid CU linebacking core. When the Buffs finally got the ball on offense, sophomore Cody Hawkins and the Buffs went to work. A big screenplay to Demetrius Sumler went for 22 yards to move CU into Rams territory. Colorado used misdirection and a variety of sets to get their wide receivers into the game and eat up yardage in the first quarter, including Scotty McKnight and Josh Smith. Going into the second quarter, CU found the end zone first to open the scoring in 2008. The spot shotgun snap, the Hawkins sets to throw, rifles it down to Steve, Scotty McKnight, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown, Colorado! 14-15 to play in the first half, and the Buffaloes strike first here at Invesco Field at mile high. The 35-yard Hawkins to McKnight touchdown strike was the same hookup that began 2007 and capped a five-play, 58-yard drive. Defense again held strong against the Rams with senior Brandon Nicholas guarding the line of scrimmage and safety Ryan Walters taking care of the secondary, showing the kind of big hitting that earned him the respect to be named one of the team's captains. A muff punt by CSU's backup gave the Buffs excellent field position at the Rams' five-yard line. And Hawkins' sneak in two plays later put Colorado up two scores early in the second. That's when things got interesting. Midway through quarter number two, Colorado State finally got into the game when a Rams linebacker, Jeff Horanek, picked off Hawkins' deflected pass at the Colorado 24 and two plays later, Ferris hit Dion Morton for a 31-yard score, the first of what would be three scores in a matter of 26 seconds. On the ensuing kickoff, sophomore Josh Smith went to work. Taken by Smith as he scoops it up like a middle infielder at the 7 across the 10, 15, 20, sidestep defenders, running at the 30, he's got room, 40, he's got the 50, 45, he's going all the way, look out, here comes Josh Smith, 10, 5, touchdown, touchdown Colorado, 93 yards, and how about that for the Buffaloes, 20 to 7 here at Invesco Field. Smith returned the kickoff 93 yards, untouched, for the first score of his career. It was Colorado's first kickoff return for a touchdown since Jeremy Bloom's 88-yarder at Kansas State in 2003. But their celebration quickly ended when CSU answered with a 90-yard touchdown return of their own in which John Mosher broke two tackles around his 20-yard line and sidestepped the desperation dive by kicker Jamison Davis as he plunged into the end zone to pull the Rams to 21-14. Back-to-back kickoff returns for touchdowns have happened less than 10 times in NCAA history, so this was something special. The first half wound down with that score intact, thanks again to the big defensive presence of Ryan Walter. Takes a snap, waist high, back pedals, sets the throw, delivers down to seam right side, it is picked off, picked off by Ryan Walters, running to his right at the 40, has a blocker in front, at the 45, the 50, and he's hauled down by Deion Morton from behind as he penetrates inside Ram territory with 16 seconds remaining and another shift of momentum here at the Quest Rocky Mountain Showdown. That game is truly a, a game that you won't forget, I mean, just playing out in Vesco and uh, the electricity surrounding uh, the whole game and just the atmosphere of the crowd and, and uh, you know, get your blood flowing the, the first game, you know, right from kickoff. And, uh, you know, that was, that was a good start to our season. The Buffs came out of the locker room and looked to Josh Smith to pick up where he'd left off in the first. He didn't disappoint, taking the opening kickoff back 46 yards, almost breaking for another touchdown 
and giving Hawkins and the offense the ball in CSU territory to start the third quarter. Cody spread the field with his passing game, hitting tight end Patrick Divini for 11 yards down to the 29, and hooking up with Smith for 15 yards down to the CSU 8. He then used his legs to scramble off the right side down to the one yard line, using the decoy of Daryl Scott sweeping to the left. Hawkins plunged into the end zone on the next play to put Colorado ahead once again by 14. Big plays by the CU secondary kept the Rams out of the end zone in the third quarter. Senior DJ Dykes jump on a long pass downfield and cornerback Gardner McKay's defense at the line of scrimmage kept the CSU drives short and yardage scarce. When the Rams were able to get downfield, Walters was there to clean them up, bringing the hammer down on the state receivers. Going into the fourth quarter, CU held an 11-point lead and began to run the ball more effectively. Sumler started off the last 15 minutes with consecutive runs of nine yards into Rams territory to set up an Eric Goodman field goal from 23 yards. Up by 14, the Colorado defense continued to badger Ferris, sacking him twice on their next possession and not allowing CSU to cross midfield. Buffalo Faithful would eventually get to see true freshman Daryl Scott in action. This 14-yard run was rewarded with a handoff from the one-yard line and a chance to get his first score in his first collegiate game. Tones for the ball, takes a snap, gives to Daryl Scott, straight up, airbound, end zone, touchdown! Touchdown, Colorado! 2-14 to play, and for the first time in his college career, in game number one, Daryl Scott goes flying in for the score. Junior college transfer, linebacker Sean Moeller, sealed the game for your Buffaloes by picking off Ferris's final pass and securing the 38-17 victory for CU. The Centennial Trophy was once again at home in Boulder. In the locker room after the game, the team was able to sing a spirited fight song, along with Chancellor Bud Peterson and CU President Bruce Benson. In his second season as the starting quarterback, Cody Hawkins put up good numbers in Game 1 versus the Rams. He was 20 for 29 for 214 yards and a touchdown. Cody also scored twice on one-yard keepers.